What life could have been like for Ramus if he had never been beaten by Fina Greyback and turned into a werewolf? First, here is a bit of backstory on Ramus' childhood and how he got bitten. Ramus Lupin is certainly one of the most beloved characters of the Harry Potter series. Good, principled, intelligent and kind. It's easy to understand why. Yet Ramus had to shoulder the huge burden of being a werewolf and the prejudice that came with that. The wizarding community, even those he would consider to be good people, treated lycanthropists dreadfully, shunning and pushing them to the fringes of society. In fact, it was because of his father, Lyle Lupin, that Ramus was attacked by Fina Greyback shortly before his fifth birthday. Lyle was one of the people called in and joined the Department of Regulation and Control of Magical Creatures. This is where he encountered Fina Greyback, who had been brought in for questioning about the murder of two muggle children. Lyle was straight through him and tried to tell the commit who just laughed at him. He grew angry that they wouldn't listen and said the werewolves were soulless, evil, deserving nothing but death. Greyback was released and fled, but he remembered Lyle's words and sought his revenge and attacked Remus. Lyle was able to save his son's life, but the damage had been done and Remus would be now a werewolf. It was the reason Remus would be rejected by the wizarding community for the rest of his life. Would Remus' personality have been different? There is no doubt that being a werewolf had an impact on some aspects of Remus' personality. Throughout his childhood, he had to move from place to place when people started to notice. His regular disappearances at the full moon, he also wasn't able to make any friends in case he revealed his secrets. The reality was Remus was a very lonely child who always had to remain on the outside. Things changed when Albus Dumbledore brought him to Hogwarts and was able to make friends with James, Sirius and Peter, but he still had to hide who he was from the majority of his peers, who would probably not be so understanding. After Hogwarts and the death of James, apparent death of Peter and imprisonment of Sirius, he was once again alone. So it's very likely that Remus still would have been kind and helpful toward his peers. Remus was always known to be the conscious of the marauders, but he sometimes allowed him to get away with stuff he shouldn't have, such as the bullying of Severus Snape. If he hadn't had to deal with the insecurity that came with being a werewolf, he might have felt more confident in stopping James and Sirius when they acted out. But would Remus' friends have become unregistered anime guy? It's hard to believe that the four marauders would never have become an registered anime guy. Yet, it was purely because of Remus' condition that they decided to start the process in the first place. When they discovered in their second year the reason behind his monthly disappearances, they didn't push him away or think differently of him. Instead, they realized it would be safe to be around him in animal form and so decided that he would never have to suffer through a full moon alone again. Knowing that it's easy to believe that becoming an anime guy would never have their minds if it weren't for the werewolf factor. The four Gryffindors were known to be adventurers and pushed the boundaries throughout the entire time to Hogwarts. In fact, the only students who were similar to the Marauders and caused the mischief were the Weasley twins. It's not hard to believe that the Marauders would have come to the decision to become anime guy in another way. Whether it was an attempt to make sneaking around the castle and grounds easier or something exciting to do because they were bored. It's definitely within the realm of possibility that he still would have taken that path. Would Ramus have been a teacher at Hogwarts? When Albus Dumbledore tracked Lupin to a cottage in Yorkshire and asked him to return to Hogwarts as a teacher, Lupin only accepted after he was told that a limited supply of Wolf's Bain potion would be available to him thanks to Snape. However, once he was at Hogwarts, he proved to be an incredibly talented teacher. He was definitely the best defense against the dark arts teacher that Harry ever had. Whether he was teaching how to banish a Bogarts, helping Harry produce a Patronus, or giving Neville the confidence to believe in himself. Therefore, it's easy to believe that Lupin would have found his way into teaching anyway. But it's hard to know what could have been in store for him if he had been able to live a normal life. He might have followed in his father's footsteps and taken a job at the Ministry of Magic, for example. Would Sirius' name had been cleared? There are a couple of reasons why Remus' lycanthropy contributed to Sirius being framed and then losing the opportunity to clear his name. If the Marauders hadn't become anime guy with Remus, then Peter Baragru wouldn't have been able to spend 13 years in hiding with the Weasleys unless he found another way to fake his own death. But without this particularly magical skill, it would have been a lot harder for him to hide his involvement with Lord Voldemort and frame Sirius for multiple murders. However, even if we do assume that the Marauders could still transfer 
transform into animals. Then it could have been possible that Sirius would have cleared his name that night in the school grounds. Remus' fall werewolf transformation provided Peter with the perfect opportunity to escape. If Harry, Ron, Hermione and Sirius hadn't been distracted with the danger looping presented, then they might have been able to bring Pettigrew to Dumbledore and to justice. So Remus condition have stopped Sirius from being able to present evidence for his innocence, so we can imagine how many things could have changed otherwise. Would Remus and Tonks have been a couple? Remus viewed himself as someone unworthy of love, and it would be incredibly selfish of him to pursue a relationship. He worried that he would lead his partner to a life of moving around and unable to settle, just like it had been for his parents, not to mention his concern about passing on his lycanthropy to any children he might have. This is one of the things that could have changed if Remus hadn't been aware of. I assume that he would still have been a member of the Order of Phoenix and would have still met Tonks. He wouldn't have his concerns about his worthness and selfishness and wouldn't have felt like he had to hide his true feelings. The attraction between the two of them was undeniable, and that wouldn't have changed. Raymond would have opened up his heart to her much more easily and quickly as a result, but it's sad to think that they could have had longer together if it wasn't for the barriers Raymond had constructed. That was all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this one about Remus Lupin. Please leave a like on this video, it would be very much appreciated. Until next time, I'll see you guys soon.